I made a mistake that almost ruined this project, but while fixing it I got inspired for even better ideas. So here is a story. I've designed a circuit with UV diodes, which together with fluorescent paint should have created a cool glowing effect for my 3D printed page. However, due to some aspects related to the case material which is resin, my prototype didn't work as intended. So I'm going to show you how to avoid the mistakes I made. The board and electronics I'm using to control LEDs are the same as for the previous version with RGB diodes. Check it out, it's really cool. The only difference is that here I used low power 365 nanometer UV diodes instead of RGB ones. The peak power of each diet is around 20 milliwatts, which might sound like a little and barely visible, but in reality, if pointed directly at the eye, the effect might be similar to a flashbang. I started by simply drawing the image I intended to use. By the way, the paint I'm using is Liquitex fluorescent paint, which I believe is French brand. It glows really nicely under UV light and is pretty dense. Then I started testing my UV LEDs, and at the beginning it worked. At the close range the paint was glowing as I wanted it to. Of course not as bright as with a 10 watt flashlight, but in my design LEDs are intended to be located very close to the painting, so even low power LEDs should make the job and nothing can ruin my plan now. However, something happened that I was kind of expecting but was not 100% sure about. The UV light created by LEDs cannot fully pass through the printed resin case, resulting in the painting not being as bright as without a case. So from one side it's kind of fail, but from another it's just a prototype and we can learn from it. So the question now is why such a problem occurred and how do we fix it? All materials are transparent in some wavelengths range. A good example is a camera lens color filters. They allow only specific color to pass through them. The same goes for this resin case and UV light. It blocks the UV light that LEDs produce, allowing only a small amount of it to pass through. Unfortunately for us of course. As a result we observe much dimmer picture. But there is a solution for it and it's extremely simple. So to fix the problem, the painting should be lit by a diode first and then the light produced by the paint can easily pass through the transparent case. Because the case is transparent for that light that was created by the fluorescent paint. However, I must point out that the above mentioned is true for low power diodes. If I do the same experiment with a 10 watt flashlight, it is really hard to notice the difference. I'm actually wondering why is that? Maybe it's because the power of flashlight is so high that a loss of even 50% is nothing for it. However, a more realistic explanation is probably different wavelengths. This flashlight has a 395 nanometers UV diode, which is actually at the bottom of the light spectrum the human eye can see, and apparently this case is more transparent to it than for a 365 nanometers. If you know the correct answer or if you have a good guess, just write it in the comments. I wanted to do some more experiments with colorful stickers and transparent cases to see if applying fluorescent paint to their back will look somehow cool. Because drawing paintings by hand is of course interesting, but I'm looking for a more automated solution. So I simply applied some paint to the backside of the case with the transparent and non-transparent stickers at the top. By the way, during experiments I accidentally damaged one diet, so don't be surprised that there are only two of them now. As you can see, it works even with low power LEDs. However, I cannot say it looks somehow better than with the regular RGB diodes from the previous design. So that's probably no, and another design should be used. The paint on my palm and how cool it looks inspired me to try my fingerprint as a stamp. So I stamped one transparent case from the inside and must say it looks quite nice. Probably I will continue working in this direction in the future, trying to create images with some stencils or maybe just stamping them. Also printing is an option, but I have strong doubts that a printer can create a good enough result because of the limited thickness of the paint that printer can apply. Also, not every printer can work with fluorescent paints. Again, if you have any ideas, please write them. I'm interested in what you think. 
Also, as was promised in the previous video, I'm adding the soldering and assembling process for a charger that was specially designed to move the USB-C port and some components out of the batch to make it thinner and smaller. The circuit boards and 3D printed cases you see in the video were created by the sponsor of this video, PCBWay company. I have been using their services for a long time and their online support, quality and prices are very nice. So if you need to 3D print some high quality parts and don't want to buy a 3D printer, just outsource this task to them. The link is down below.